Hello. Today I'd like to uh, demonstrate and review the treadle belt replacement tool as supplied by Woodland Quilt Works. I got this for myself last Christmas. It's now a sunny August day. Let's see if it works. Uh, you can see the tool is quite well constructed. Squeeze it, flip this lever, it releases. You have your cutting tool, your hole punch, and grooves in the uh, jaws for crimping. We're working on a um, standard rotary sewing machine, which until three years ago, in the death of its previous owner, was used for light mending. It's in quite good condition, but the belt is a little rotten, and so we're going to cut it. I could splice the new belt into that, but I'm lazy, and this is just easier. We have a clamp here, and this is the new belt. It's an Alpha Sew belt. I'm not familiar with that brand. It also came from Woodland Quilt Works. And what we are going to do, we have two ends. We have the end with the hook, we have the end that does not have a hook. We're going to straighten this as best we can. Send the straight end down. Now there is a hole at the top and there is a hole at the bottom of the wood case. I'm hoping we can simply send him through without reaching in. You know I'm not that lucky. have the belt through. Now we have most of the belt through except for the hook and a little bit in the end. What we're going to do is we're going to take this clamp. You can also use a clothespin. It doesn't really matter. Just something to clamp on here and keep it from going the rest of the way through the hole. So now what we're going to do, straighten this up as best we can, try to get the kinks out. and send it around the pulley, which does not have nearly as much guard on it as I thought it did. It is critically important that it's on the correct side of all of the guards, and the guards, their exact position and number will vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. This one has basically a number of fingers around the pulley as opposed to a complete guard, which is much easier to deal with. When you get it around the wheel, just rock it back and forth a little bit to make sure that uh, everything's where it should be. Now we are, so we have this guard, which it refuses to stay in for some reason. We poke it through the hole in the bottom of the case. We send it through the hole in the top of the case. And that's looking quite good. You can see that our clip did protect it from falling off while I was doing all that, which otherwise I'd be starting over right now. Now you can see we have considerable overlap. So what we do, we see where the overlap meets. We cut, so now they are putting, now we shove it through this hole here, and if all works well, we have punched a hole almost all of the way through. We'll take it off the pulley to allow for room, 
Now it didn't go all the way through the through the leather for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. Okay, let's try repunching through from the other side. Yes, that's through. The belt goes perfectly into the groove. And it's a little bit loose, but that's a working sewing machine. Now these pliers, you can decide whether you need them or not. They do work perfectly as advertised. Uh, they're kind of pricey. You might want to decide whether you have enough sewing machines, whether you're going to do enough of these repairs to justify the purchase cost or whether you're just going to use a hammer and nail or drill or what have you. I think it, it's certainly quick and efficient.